Hello, recently I did a video looking at Logic Pro X's new mastering assistant, but I soon found that we had a couple of issues with that video. One being I didn't gain and match my music properly, which is a huge error on my part. So this video will rectify that. We have a completely new uh, track that I'm using. And actually, if we quickly have a look, this should uh, also give you a quick cheeky look at what else we're going to be looking at. But back into Logic, uh, I have pressed game match. And for some reason, the Logic Pro X's mastering assistant calls it loudness compensation. So I have done my best to game match everything and spend some time there so we should have a solid side-by-side -side comparison if you're not wearing headphones please put them on I noticed somebody in the other ones had a good pair of these as well so they were probably listening to exactly what I was hearing uh, thank you for your comment thank you for all your comments on that previous video it's helped me make this one um, because we are also going to be looking at Landar I think that's how you pronounce it it's probably not and you'll probably correct me in the comments but Landar's mastering assistant plugin um, we're not actually looking at the plugin because it's $224 or there is a monthly subscription, but I didn't fancy dropping all that money. But what we can do is if you get right down to the bottom, it says try now. And if we go up to mastering up here, there's an online mastering version. And then that allows you to upload a track and well, listen to the demo. If you want to create a master, it's gonna cost you $9.99. But what we can do is compare it to what we've got going on over there as well. We can have a look at the different styles, warm, balance, and open. Loudness wise, low, I think best matches everything else. But this is another one to throw into the mix. <sighs> Off the bat, I think I'm honestly gonna say I love Ozone simply for the fact that it has such a history. We're on Ozone 11 now. I know I'm using Ozone 9, but I'm not paying £125 to upgrade when I paid like £90 to buy Ozone 9 standard years ago. It seems a bit of a ripoff to pay so much for something that will make a difference, but not a £125 difference. <laughs> anyway, uh, this plugin though it looks really cool, it just doesn't look like it has the depth that Ozone provides. And then when we put it beside, I know the Logic Pro X is Master Assistant, that is completely free for those who have Logic. Hopefully other DAWs will come out with something similar. But what you do have is these different styles. It does look like the plugin itself. You can tweak the EQ a little bit more, but not as much. Uh, there's some dynamic stereo spread loudness nothing new it just feels it just doesn't feel as in depth as something like ozone it does seem very similar though to logic pro x's own mastering assistant which with a few updates i really think could be a, a nice competitor to especially for those starting out so let's listen to some music i'm going to make sure logic is off we're going to do a side by side comparison with the track and ozone first then we'll move into logics then we'll move it into lander Moving into Logic's own.
Okay, with the Landar one, the style differences, what I'm hearing, it's subtle, but the open more treble, um, while the balanced is more of a middle ground, similar to what we're hearing with Ozone and Logic Pro X's Mastering Assistant, and the warm is more mids. That's what I'm hearing there. That's why I kind of turned it up to medium towards the end, just so I can exaggerate it a bit more. The low actually, I think, game matched it rather nicely. Um, but overall, just side by side, looking at everything we just heard, I'm barely hearing any difference. Having anything is making a huge difference. And the differences between everything else is minute, in all honesty. Just using assistance. Um, I have tweaked them a little bit. And I don't know, the Ozone one, I really like this dynamic EQ. It just emphasizes certain frequencies a bit more. Um, while yes, looking at the EQ, we do actually see a very similar layout. And what we can do if we want is exaggerate it more if we really want. If we actually play the track, let's make sure that's completely turned off and just play this one. I like that. I like the fact that you can exaggerate it or turn it down a little bit if you find it's too much. Yes, we have this exciter over here. Which, I don't know how much that actually does. Um, we can make it wider, which is... Nice. I would like that almost to be a little bit more room for tweaking, maybe some dynamic EQ would be nice, or some compression, the fact they've just got an exciter, it'd be nice to have something a little bit more. Um, you can go into the EQ and adjust it slightly. I don't know if you can add more dots, but I know you've got basically three dots there to mess with. Um, I can't do any of the other characters. I might do a third video on it on my wife's computer. She's got a Mac M1 or MacBook Air. Um, and I might be able to mess with the other ones there, but I feel there's a lot of people out there still using MacBooks with Intel. I paid three grand for this laptop in 2019. I'm not spending another three grand simply so I can use other bits until I work this computer into the ground. Um, whatever the reason, I'm sure they've got a reason, but still a bit of a gimmick. Um, but the depth I can get from Ozone and the elements is only like 49 pounds. Um, while the full version, well, the standard, I think, is maybe 140, and the full is nearly 500. Uh, the advanced, if you're really into your mastering, that's definitely for you, but I feel the standard suits my needs very well. If you're starting out, Elements is brilliant uh, and will, I think, be a slight step up and help you more than this will, but if you're starting out and you have Logic, this is a great tool that's going to help a lot of beginners, a lot of people starting out. Uh, it, I don't think it's for the people who are advanced uh, at mastering, uh, who have those skills. But if you don't, this is a perfect tool. Moving into Landar, ah, I just, I don't know. Like, for what it is, I just feel there are older and more tried and tested tools out there. The fact that I'm having to pay to get this master, there, there's no demo, why isn't there like, a free plugin demo version of this. Ozone does it even for the advanced. It'd be nice just to try out the full blown plugin um, because that's exactly what I did, I think, with Ozone. And then I realized I just can't live without it. <laughs> I paid the price, um, found it for a decent price back then. But this, I don't know, maybe it's for you. It just seems like a pretty price to pay for something that you could get a better price elsewhere for something, you know, that's my opinion. Uh, I might bite the bullet and pay maybe a monthly, uh, oh, 19 pounds. Do I even get it? Ultimate mastering, ultimate. Might try it. I've never heard of this company before, but I might dive into some of their stuff and have a look to see what it has to offer. Um, but what's your opinion? What do you think? What do you think of all those mixes? Um, I try my best to game match everything, and I think we did a good job there. Uh, but definitely, it's a cool tool, and I'm very happy 
it's going in that direction and I'm hoping other DAWs will go in that direction as well, especially for beginners. This is such a great tool. Um, but we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.